Well, first off, I don't really need to rebut anything that you said about that. Excellent, good. <laughs> I'm doing a fabulous introduction and introduction to the innovation. If I was to sort of give the overarching um, innovation, or to sum it up, it's our theory of change is what we've come to call it. And our theory of change is that we can catalyze multiple, many, 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 the world over, um, independent action through education. We can catalyze action through education. And the, um, and we do this through a variety of different services that we offer that are purely focused on providing the knowledge and skills for people to be able to take their own action and take care of the water and sanitation situation in their own backyard. Um, the services that we provide are training, short courses, following up by consulting services. So um, as the real learning happens once you leave the workshop and you're actually in the, in the field struggling to, to get something to work, they can, uh, people can call upon us to help troubleshoot, to share their successes and for the motivation. Um, we also provide our education materials free of, um, free of charge, open content, open source, so to speak, widely available. People can download it out, off of the internet to be able to adapt it, translate it, use it in their own local context. We haven't seen anyone else doing that either. Um, the other thing that uh, we do is we translate the, we're, we act as sort of interpreters from the academic world. Um, taking the academic research and translating and interpreting it for the people, the practitioners who are in the field who are doing and implementing their projects, who are wrestling with it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, likewise, we also take what's happening in the field and take it to the academics and say, here's what would be really valuable for practitioners, is if you could reach research X. Um, the other thing that we're doing in the services context is in building other institutions to be able to deliver the services that we do. Ultimately, we want to work ourselves out of a business, and that's that other people are able to take care of their own programs themselves. And that means having institutions in country who are able to deliver our services to other organizations with training and the ongoing consulting support. Um, and finally, as it was mentioned as one of our services, is here at home we see a responsibility to also educate so that people here at home can, can also take action on this global scale issue. Um, so, that's, uh, so that covers off the education and, the, and gives you a little glimpse of the types of services that we provide. The clients are also something that is unique to our organizations. Our clients are our engineers and practitioners, the people that are getting their their hands and their arms dirty in the field delivering water and sanitation to the poor and the poorest of the poor, not to the policy makers um, or the academics. Um, and this is something that we were actually surprised to see just how big that gap in service was. Um, so our services are unique, our clients are unique, and how we measure our results are unique. We measure ourselves not by what our immediate outputs are, but what our outcomes are. We measure ourselves by the number of people who have access to safe water and sanitation. And as was mentioned earlier on, that is a global, um, global wide scale issue. About half the world's population doesn't have safe water, which impacts their life, life, livelihoods, obviously. And um, so we know that the only way that we're going to be able to address the massive scale of the issue is if we can catalyze numerous independent actions. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff, same question to you.